got out of the house to come to this uh, little park here. We're about to walk around and hang out, get some fresh air. This is week number one from being off of work. Uh, so I think it's really important to make sure you stay active, whether that's running, push-ups, sit-ups. We got, you know, jump rope here. People are riding bikes. Um, it's fairly decent weather. And uh, we're just gonna be walking around, hanging out. Also, if you are a med student, resident, college student, pre-med, high school, I think it's important to make sure you stay productive and make sure you use your time wisely. That means setting a schedule, setting a routine that what you want to accomplish throughout the day. You don't want to fall behind on your studies, so just make sure that uh, you're using this time wisely because uh, you don't want to uh, waste this time. All right guys, so we are about a week out of work thus far. I am getting lots of requests to do things and give my perspective as a doctor on social media, different news outlets. And uh, today I'm actually going live with a Instagram page and another cardiologist who will be talking about some of the things that's going on from a doctor's perspective. So uh, I'll be uh, tuning it in here shortly, so. What's up, man? What up? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Glad to have you. So, uh, basically, you know, I'm just going to let people know what's going on. So, this is part of a series. Um, this is put on by Russo Doctor Network, dedicated to, you know, in improving the chances of people like you and I becoming professionals. Um, so, we're going to talk about the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And I'm, I just want to get your perspective as an orthopedic surgeon. Yeah, so, you know, when I, when I first heard of this, you know, a few weeks ago, it's, it's one of those things that you, you kind of brush off and be like, ah, oh, you know, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll, you know, it, this will be over in a few weeks or, you know, people are just blowing it out of proportion. But then, you know, you, you see all the reports online where people were talking about the mortality rate and, um, you know, the asymptomatic spread of this disease and people are dying. And then, you know, you see a lot more people taking it serious. So um, that's when I kind of first click to me like wow this is uh this is pretty crazy this is uh something that we, we've never seen before so um yeah, yeah it's um it, it's pretty crazy man yeah last thing i have i w don't want people to uh, panic you know we, this is something that we will kind of get through it's important yeah. to you know wash your hands as you hear people talking about and then the social distancing is uh, extremely important we as a healthcare, you know, in the U.S., we, we don't want to replicate what's going on in Italy or different parts of the world, like U.K., the cases are going up in Spain. So, you know, I, I think we're taking all the necessary precautions at this point. So uh, we just need to continue this and it's something that we, we will get through. And just check on one another also, you know, staying at home and it, it, it can do something to your head in terms of mentally and, you know, I'm a busy person. I like to be busy, so um, you know I, I have to get out and make sure that uh, my psych, psyche and everything else is you know on point. So uh, make sure you look after one one another. Uh, check on people that are elderly or your neighbors. Um, you know, just we have to get through this together. So. Amen. Amen to all of that. 
All right, so I just got done with my Instagram Live. Uh, it went well, so I think this is something really important. People are looking up to the, you know, physicians, you know, people who, uh, you know, probably know the most. I don't know a lot about this particular disease, but I'm educating myself and talking to various people and doing things like this to uh, try to give back. So um, I just had a news reporter from one of the uh, news stations hit me up to do the same thing on her channel. So we'll be doing that uh, here soon. But today is just uh, trying to get some research done, trying to read as much as possible, as well as spend time with my family. So uh, uh, that's about it.